Welcome to my presentation. In this presentation, we shall look at some algebraic properties of cross products. So, let me explain this. If we have A as a vector, B as another vector, and then C as another vector, and if these are vectors in three spaces, and if C is another scalar quantity, then the following properties are true. Then, one, the first property is telling us that if we were to take ve uh, vector A and cross it with vector B, this is the same as saying minus of vector B cross vector A. We will take some simple examples to prove these properties in my next presentation, but we will list all the properties in this presentation and then we will use them as we go. The second property is telling us that if we have three vectors, vector A cross vector B plus vector C like that, this is going to be equal to vector A cross vector B plus vector A cross vector C like that. Okay, And then the third property is telling us that if we have a scalar quantity C and if we wait to um, if we wait to distribute it to vector A cross vector B like that we can do it two different ways one is we can distribute the constant to the vector A like that cross vector B or we can distribute we can uh, distribute it to ve vector B like this uh, vector A cross the scalar quantity times the vector b like that any one of those ways of representing is is correct then the fourth property we want to know is if we have vector a and if we wait to cross it with a vector which has zero components in them or if we have a vector which has zero components in them and then cross it to cross it with vector a the resulting vector is going to be a zero vector, right? So that is something we want to keep in mind. Then, if we take a vector and then cross it by itself, the same vector with the same components, the resulting vector is going to be a zero vector. This is one of the properties. The next property is telling us that if we have vector A and if we wait to dot product it with um, vector B cross vector C like that the result is going to be equal to vector A cross vector B like that uh, dot vector C this is the dot product so we first do the cross product and then do the dot product with A or if we do the cross product between A, vector A and vector B and then take the product of that and then do a dot product with C, the result is going to be the same. Okay. The next property we want to um, we, we want to highlight is this. If A is a vector and if A has components like this, A1i plus A2j plus A 3k and if b is another vector and if the if the components of those are b1i plus b2j plus b3k then then the following properties are true so we're going to then write this as i cross j is equal to K. Let me draw a graph here. Let me draw this graph and then this will explain some more things in here. Let's say this is x-axis. Let's say this is y-axis. Let's say this is z-axis. And if we wait to say, if we take one unit on the x, y and z, we can represent uh, these vectors i j and k 
these are starting from the origin here. So therefore, the cross product between i and j, i cross j is going to be equal to k, j cross k is going to be equal to i, and then k cross i is going to be equal to j. One easy way to remember is I'm going to I'm going to draw i, j, and k like that. And if we wait to travel in this direction, these will always be positive quantities. And if I wait to represent this with a different ink, if I wait to travel in the other direction, if I wait to go from j to i, that would be negative. If, we were, if I were to go from i to j, that would be negative. If I were to go from k to j, that would be negative as well. Okay. So having said that, let me write the other properties down. So now, j cross, um, let me write this, yeah, let me write it with red, doesn't matter. j cross i is just going to be the opposite of uh, k which is negative k and then j cross k is equal to positive i therefore k cross j will be opposite of i which will be negative i since k cross i is a positive j therefore i cross k will be a negative j okay so those are some of the properties we want to know and then some more properties the other properties we want to keep in mind are i cross i will be 0 and then j cross j will be equal to 0 and also k cross k will be equal to 0. We will use these properties to solve some simple example problems in my next presentation.